been working on this movie for so long so long it's finally i'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel movie has been kind of the thing that was like therapeutic for me uh, during every day because I'd have something to edit late in the evening something to look forward to and some nights I'd walk away kind of depressed because it didn't turn out how I wanted it and now I feel like I'm getting closer to finishing this thing something's finally happening I'm very excited to soon have this thing available for everybody. It's gonna be pretty sweet when it's finished. It's crazy to think we started shooting this in a barn um, at my house, built the sets out of cardboard. Except Thanks to Mike issues. Gibney for making the cardboard and plastic look amazing. He's a really good set designer. Um, we were able to get a lot out of it, uh, the panels he made and the designs he made that we could overlay on top of our, me and Will's uh, cardboard yeah. techniques. Um, it was pretty cool. We could add things into our the elevator set. We made a bunch of sets. It was the first movie we made it tons of total sets. I mean, I made sets on movies before, but this one was quite elaborate. Lots of cardboard, a lot of cardboard boxes from the grocery store. And um, then it was crazy to find us here at Fast Coast Productions HQ in downtown Hamilton and turning the office space and studio space into what we had in the barn and we had in our hallways here in the offices, creating it into these corridors you see here in our office, turning that office corridor into a spaceship with uh, Mike Gibney panels and these little LED lights. Um, to be in a real studio is like a luxury, being, as opposed to being in a hot summer cramped studio space in a barn or a cold space during the winter filming these, these movies. It was a, it would just been a luxury uh, filming it here at Vasco's HQ. Can't wait to share it with everybody.